if you watch me the time Baba was put to rest I was sharing tears I never cried before in my life you can see where pastor they will preach on the pulpit they will cry hey, cry for what what am I crying for Hello everyone. So in today's video we're we'll talking about Prophet T. A. Jeremiah. This is a man who is amongst the people whose lives have been touched by the late Prophet T. B. Joshua. And in today's video he talks about how he cried and the reason he cried when the late prophet T.B. Joshua died. So according to him, he didn't cry for sure and he didn't cry just for the facts. He cried because he wondered at that point that if this man of God hadn't influenced his life, where would he have been at this point in life if he didn't ignore what people had to say about the late prophet tv joshua what would have happened to him at this point he's someone who emulates the lifestyle of the late prophet and because it teaches you to learn how to be quiet even when you have that urge to argue and how to observe instead of diving straight into things it teaches you to stand out, stand back, and observe, and it even makes your life better. So he was wondering why. I was not crying because uh, what did he die? But I was crying with one reason, and I will tell you the reason now. The reason why I was crying was this, because I know the family I'm coming from. I know the chronic poverty, failure, struggle, stupidity that is there. Where I'm coming from. And many of you are coming from such family too as well. So he wondered at that point about people who would have been like him, who would have been blessed by the prophet, the late prophet T.B. Joshua's anointing, but they let what others say stand in their ways. And now they don't have the opportunity to even try again because the prophet is no more so he wondered what if he was amongst these people that meant that he wouldn't have gotten the chance to be at this level in his life he wouldn't have been at this point in his life and he would have missed his anointing he would have missed his goal and according to this um prophet T.A. Jeremiah he is the only one in the community he comes from who can see what would happen the next day or who can see what will happen in two days time he's the only one he knows with that anointing and he isn't bragging but he's talking about how God has set him apart from other people how he is someone who people can come to and he also talks about not coming from a background that he could be proud of. There were a lot of vices, there were a lot of challenges. And if he had let his background decide for him where he would be or how to go about life, he wouldn't be any different. So in conclusion, this prophet T.A. Jeremiah, because he didn't listen to what people said and went to the prophet T.B. Joshua. God used prophet T.B. Joshua to take away the hand of Satan in his family and in his life and is much better and is much different and he's successful today because of this step that he took. So I would ask all of us to learn from this and learn to listen to the holy spirit or ask for guidance from the holy spirit and just 
not follow what people say don't let what they say be what makes you go to your final decision about anything but instead ask god when you are choosing when you're about to make choices the man of god prophet uh, jeremiah also cured a lady with a kidney problem stated baba tv joshua's lifestyle will stand for him to do better in life that anyone can imagine the grace of god continues to work in his life and his ministry through the contact he had with senior prophet tb joshua what god cannot do does not exist prophet jeremiah also stated he was a street boy hopeless and lost no food to eat and after he met baba tb joshua his life changed for good today is changing other people's lives prophet jeremiah likes football and he and he has encouraged the young uh, ones to play football it's good to see pastor that practice what he preached had it been he didn't bring these boys together maybe some of them would be on the street uh, pickpocketing in fact we serve a mighty god he is the same all the time when god lifts you up nobody can bring you down god is lifting these boys up they can be nigerian uh, ego players tomorrow god bless you uh, the man of god uh, prophet jeremiah for your hand work like i told you now people have started negotiating negotiating how they will pay money and pick them pay money pick them pay money pick them pay money pick them pick them, pick them. People might be saying, why is this man always talking about senior prophet T.B. Joshua? This prophet, prophet uh, Jeremiah, he has a reason for saying that. As he said, if not prophet T.B. Joshua, maybe today he will not be alive. Maybe he would have been on the street. Maybe he would have been in the grave. So this man knows what TV Joshua has really done in his life.